everybody. Well, it's not even morning. <laughs> it is half one, AKA hot cross bun time because I am starving and I'm tired. If you watch my last vlog, you will have heard that the builders came in at 7.30. 7.30, not my builders, because I would never let my builders come in that early. I'd be like, I'll pay you extra days. Please don't come at 7.30. So double hot cross buns, because I need the energy. <laughs> we have butter, salt and pepper on three of them. Don't judge me. It's a weird combo for some people, but I love it. And then we have, what is this? It's like this limited edition peanut butter, which is just so good. Pippa nut, dark chocolate, Cornish sea salt, almond butter so good i actually bought one of those for me and for brian i always pick him up the limited edition ones as well he thinks i picked up one for me but i picked up two extra and i've hidden them i don't like, think i'm in focus my camera doesn't like me today yeah i've hidden them because he always eats my peanut butter like doesn't care if it's limited edition you can't get your hands on it anymore and you need to ration these things like my blueberry one yeah he'll just eat it and he will leave like the tiniest amount left like a finger scoop full he has his own and i have my secret stash and i can tell you about that because i don't think he watches my videos anymore so so today is friday i don't know i'm still holding the hot cross buns up like this today it is friday i'm currently shooting my asos edit for instagram so i thought i would take you through some really amazing spring pieces that i've picked out for february i am just so excited about spring i think in the uk because we're coming to like not the end of lockdown we're kind of like midway through in my mind i've made it a little bit longer so that I'm not disappointed, has anyone else done that? So in my brain, I'm like midway through at the moment. Spring is approaching, spring is kind of when we hope that things might kind of start easing up and I'll just be able to see people, like properly be able to see people because at the moment, like making time for walks is just not the one. I'm so busy, so basically I'm not seeing anyone. So I think more than ever, I am like fully romanticizing spring and I really enjoyed spring this is gonna sound so weird i really enjoyed spring last year because we were in lockdown and i actually kind of got to kick off the real like spring dressing that i feel like people in warmer climates really get to take advantage of but in the uk it's normally very wet weather in spring so it's a bit of a like eh, season for us it's like you associate it with really lovely spring dresses and stuff but actually the chances of wearing them those dresses kind of overlap more to summer but being not really able to go out as much kind of negates the weather issue. So that's why I'm really enjoying spring dressing at the moment and kind of taking advantage of a really awful situation and just trying to find a little silver lining in that I can wear my spring dresses. So that's why I'm really enjoying spring dressing and I saw someone comment saying, I'm really excited for the spring summer dress hauls and so am I. Honestly, so excited for that. There are a couple of dresses which I really love. So I'll show you those as well. But yeah, despite the lack of sleep, I'm feeling good today. We had something good happen, like actual good news, which is just so rare at the moment. I had some actual good news yesterday. I have an Audi and they called me and they were like, do you want to they called me and they were like, do you want to switch your car early? Don't know why, maybe they've got like a shortage of secondhand cars and then a higher demand for secondhand cars and they want me to like trade my back in early, which I haven't said 100% yes to yet, but they implied that my dream car that I wanted and have literally had saved to my, literally all of 2020, had this car saved as my screensaver on my phone. That was how badly I was trying to manifest this car. They have implied that that might be possible. And I didn't think it would be because I really like, reined in on the spending you know just trying to be sensible trying to do think good things for my future self so i was like really resigned myself to the fact that i wasn't getting this car so i have a meeting on monday a zoom meeting so i'm actually feeling quite positive it's just nice to have had something like some nice news you know anyway i need to eat and put clothes on okay so my ASOS bits, the first items I actually have just put on for a reel. So hopefully that will be coming to Instagram soon. But you guys are also getting it on here. I love these tops that ASOS have been doing. The black one actually sits a lot wider on the shoulders than my pink one. I love these. They are such great spring staples. They're like a knit, like a ribbed texture, which I really like. So they're like that perfect kind of transitional piece between winter and spring. They come down to about here and I've just tucked it into these jeans which are like split hem i don't know what you call them but lots of you will know i've been looking for like the perfect pair for quite a while now i bought a pair from misguided which was so cute actually when i looked back at the footage but they were too big around the waist whereas these are actually really good to be honest i probably could go a size down i can't remember if i got these in like a 10 or if they were like a 28 
waist i actually think i'm going to have to start going down to a 26 because most things just aren't sitting right like these are okay but they've got like a lot of excess material still i would love it if they were actually a little bit tighter around the knees i just think they would be a little bit more flattering if they were like tighter on the knees and then flared out i've just got a little pair of asos slip floppy heeled shoes just because i think they are the kind of shoe that works best with these types of jeans and i love the look i love how streamlined it is the jeans are black but they've got this really nice tan detailing sorry i've got crummies on me from the hot cross buns but they're still a really nice dark black wash and it matches really nicely with the top and makes the whole look very streamlined so the first two earrings are from Raimi. i love them i think they look so cute together and then my necklace is from astrid and Mew. this is from one of their new collections and then my rings are also from Raimi. but anyway this is probably my favorite like full outfit from the haul it's kind of like going out for your first dinner post lockdown vibes this is the tan version which i really like like i said it's very close to my skin tone so i feel like it doesn't distract too much from the busyness that we've got kind of going on down at the bottom half of the outfit i wish they would do it in more varying shades of brown so there was like a whole range that would be really really cute these are like the perfect zoom cool tops you could wear trackies on the bottom and be on your zoom call and look so good i also like how this one it matches up with like the buttons on the jeans so it still kind of works together as a little look and i really like that this is the pink version probably the only version of all of them so far that i've tried on that i can kind of tell that i'm wearing a black strapless bra underneath it's a little bit noticeable i think now that i've pointed it out this one also doesn't fit as wide on the shoulders i don't feel like it definitely feels more fitted which is really interesting i wonder if it's something to do with like the dye that they used i'm not sure normally that's more common with black dye but it's just so cute i've so been enjoying wearing this over the past month and it's just in the most beautiful like spring tone it works really beautifully with blue jeans that's my preferred way to style it i think especially if they're more like mom jean kind of a little bit loose i just think it looks really cute and it's like a nice little juxtaposition but they also work really nicely with these jeans as well i think because of the rose gold button it kind of ties it in a little bit but like i said the black is my favorite just in terms of it being like the most streamlined look how cute is this little blue number this just screams like spring summer to me it's a really lovely one for spring though especially because you can pair it with like jeans i think white jeans this would look so lovely with that would also transition really nicely into summer you could go black skinnies as well if you wanted to it's a really cute one for spring summer i'm intrigued to see how everyone else would style this because i sometimes feel like with baby doll cuts like this one i'm never 100 percent sure on what to pair it with other than like a go-to pair of skinny jeans so i would love to know what would you pair this with would you go for like the flared trousers and smarten it up would you go for like a skinnier jean what would you go for let me know this top is actually one of the pieces from my order that i was most excited about because not only is it a lovely floaty spring summer top it also is one that is great for like you know tucking you can tuck it you can make it look cute but you can also just have it untucked and go full-on hide the food baby and i really like that about it i think it looks really cute with like gold jewelry as well just like a perfect spring summer top really really easy I actually really love it. I think this kind of works with any jeans as well, tucked into like mom jeans. It would look really lovely. It works beautifully when it's like floaty over skinny jeans, but you can also, again, tuck it in skinny jeans. You could tuck it into a skirt as well. If you've got anything particularly like high-waisted, this could work really nicely still tucked in. I think it's a really versatile little piece and I really like it. It's also got adjustable straps at the back. Also, I've just realized you could have it strapless, tuck the straps in, you know the vibe. And then if you pull it up a little bit, it looks like a really cute little, like more of a formal top, if that makes sense. I think that looks really cute. So a nice little versatile top for spring summer. I'm really, really happy with this one. This cardigan is so cute. Some of you will have already seen it, but everyone needs to see this. So I'm showing it again. I bought this thinking it was a yellow cardigan, but then I was actually slightly concerned because the website said cream when I looked back at my order details, but it's arrived and it's this like lovely in between where it's almost like a pastel yellow, like not even like a real yellow. It doesn't stand out too much. Very much my color vibe. I really like colors like this that are almost like non-colors it also works really nicely these jeans are going to be a staple for me i can tell everything looks good with them in my opinion some of you might be like no nothing looks good with them i hate them take them off but yeah i actually have not taken this cardigan off i love it it is just so cute it comes down to around my hips it will definitely be a shorter cardigan if you are taller or have a longer body but for me it comes down to around my hips so it's a nice one if i just want to have like a regular length cardigan but it also tucks really beautifully i either tuck it into whatever i'm wearing whether it's leggings jeans that kind of vibe or i tuck it up into my bra and then
then I have a really nice cute crop like if I'm wearing leggings and I want it to be that little bit more cropped it works really nicely that way. I make it sit a little bit further back. So I don't know if you can see where the shoulder stitching is, but I sit it a little bit further back so it comes up a little bit higher and make it sit a little bit wider on the shoulder and I just think it gives the cardigan a much more modern twist. Side note, this could also be really cute on like cooler summer evenings when you want something to kind of like tuck into like denim shorts. So I feel like you'll get the wear out of it throughout so many different seasons, not just like right now. Next we have this puff sleeve top, which might seem kind of familiar to you if you watched one of my Zara hauls from last spring. I picked up a top that was almost exactly like this and I sent it back and I cannot tell you how much I think about the two of the tops that I sent back from last year's Zara spring haul I think about almost every day and really feel sad about the fact that I don't have them anymore. And when I saw this on ASOS, I just had to pick it up. The sleeves are a little bit more extreme, I would say. They definitely feel puffier, but I just thought this would be a really lovely one to potentially layer under like knitted vests on like cooler spring days. It also works really nicely for me in terms of like your Zoom meetings, you know, nice top on the top, trackies on the bottom kind of vibe. But yeah, let me know. What do we think? of this is it too much okay vest layering over the top got this little vest what do we think i'm not sure that this is me i just don't really do like super smart kind of like tailoring like this very well it doesn't fit my vibe in any way but yeah i'd love to know what you think of this look are you into like this kind of like knitted vest trend or do you just hate it okay next we have the vest and shirt dress which i actually really like the shirt dress it's quite long and without a belt around the waist it is very shapeless so definitely needs some accessorizing but the shirt dress underneath actually love it and i think it's a really great staple piece i'll show you it without the vest on in a second i really like the vest with the shirt vibes it's very preppy for me so i don't know if it's my personal style however victoria from in the fryer has actually done a reel recently with some really cute layering of a vest so i will link that because i actually thought that was like super super cute and not as like obviously like preppy i feel a bit like i've jumped out of clueless with this i'm not gonna lie i definitely think that it could do with like maybe some toughening up maybe some chunky boots on the bottom but what i also think it could do with is a belt in the middle yeah i think having a belt separates it nicely but adds a little bit of interest whereas when you have it just like this it just lacks that extra little bit of interest and the belt pulling it in just ever so slightly just gives it a tiny bit more shape which i think makes all the difference however i do think a big chunky belt could look really cute with this as well so you could have the chunky belt over the top and then have the vest coming out the bottom a little bit i actually think i prefer the cleaner line of not being able to see the vest coming out under the bottom. I don't know, definitely not my area of expertise when it comes to styling, but I think that would be my preferred way to wear it. So this is the shirt dress without the vest over the top. I've popped my big chunky belt on around the waist because I feel like it needs, even if I'm not like, sometimes I would bring the front up just a little bit like that, just to give it like an asymmetric kind of vibe, give the whole look a little bit more shape. Even if I'm not doing that, I would still want a belt around the middle purely because it gives this some shape because without it's just like huge and comes down to my knees. Also needs a steam, I'm well aware. But I do think a shirt dress is always like a really great staple to have in a wardrobe because they're quite light on hot days when you want to look smart. They're a real great staple. Just one of those things that I think, especially for me, I think about a lot and I'm like, oh, I just really wish I had that in my wardrobe right now. They're just a great fail safe to have because every once in a blue moon, you do need one. They're lovely and light, so great for kind of spring, summer, and also great for layering as well. And just such a timeless piece. I don't think you can ever go wrong. I think it's definitely one thing to invest in and just keep in your wardrobe for that kind of rainy day or not so rainy day situation. But yeah, a really great high street basic. This dress, I love the color palette of. I'm well aware that this is definitely more of a summer piece than a spring piece. Although you could wear it with like black tights, black boots, and it could be more of a, like a spring vibe. I love the color palette of it, like I just said. However, my one reservation with this dress is that I always come back to the thought of, I don't think big prints suit me. I don't know if it's because I'm a little bit shorter. Not really sure what it is. I had a H&M dress last summer, which was much longer than this. And I think this is giving me real flashbacks to it, to be honest. However, this one is definitely much, much shorter. The other one was more of a maxi length on me and also had this like tie up kind of like V situation here, which I didn't love. It was a bit too boho for me. This is really, really cute. Just like a really nice little smock dress. Like I said, love the color palette. It's like borderline granny, but with a bit of like cute and like modern thrown in. I'm going to show you it with a belt around the waist because I do think sometimes dresses like this are lovely and floaty, but they do just have 
sometimes a bit too much material. So this belt is also from ASOS. I picked it up completely unrelated to this dress. Didn't have any plans to really pair them together, but I actually really like the brown with this dress because I think black is a bit too harsh, whereas the brown fits in with the color palette a little bit better. It kind of complements the corals and the greens in it. And I've just thrown on a pair of brown sandals as well. So it kind of shows like how this will work really nicely during the warm months. You could also go for a pair of like brown, like knee high boots whilst it's a little bit cooler as well. But it is a really lovely dress and I think it's one that won't stick around for very long on the website. This final dress of the day is so cute. It's like this little mint green smock number with like bell sleeves, so cute. I'm just not sure that it suits me and my body shape the best it could though. I'm not sure. I don't know if it's like maybe the length, but the color is so beautiful and it's like quite weighty as well, like really nice quality. It will be a really lovely spring summer one because it is like a little bit thicker. So it will keep you warmer even like on summer days when it's like a bit chilly. This would be a really nice wardrobe staple, I think for spring summer. But yeah, let me know your thoughts. What do you think is holy grail wardrobe staple and what do you think should go back? So myself and Nala are going to do some editing now and she requested that we sit under the fluffy Zara home blanket which is softer than she is because she's absolutely exhausted due to her current schedule. Yeah you are aren't you? Just so busy. It has been a long day people. I, I finished all of my work. It's nearly seven o'clock. I actually deleted some of my work and had to redo it. So I really just want to go and lie on a sofa and just like stare at the ceiling for about six hours because it's just, <laughs> it's been a day. I'm not even wearing a bra, like I'm not ready to go. I've been getting all of my stuff ready to go to Ryan's and I've just realized I'm I'm so not ready. Like I was literally was about to leave and I was like, you are not ready. Very exciting parcel has arrived. I've had a delivery from All Plants, which are, I think they're like a new company and they basically do like vegan meals that are kind of like pre-made i'll show you ignore my fridge please because the organization is not there at the moment it's just got really out of hand but yeah as you can see we've got like a roasted veggie lasagna let's have a look at it because i haven't actually had a look yet i like kind of panicked and just got it all out the box and put it into the fridge i really want to eat this right now i'm so hungry there are loads so many oh so yeah i'm really excited to try everything we've got a mac and greens there oh, a mushroom and chickpea korma a power protein bowl oh my god these look so good and they sent some desserts as well which i'm taking to ryan's tonight so if i remember and i'm not like just staring at the ceiling then i'll give you my verdict if not i'll give you my verdict tomorrow but they look so good i'm excited to try them and kind of like learn a bit more about the brand i don't normally say yes to food related things but i knew that this was something that both ryan and i would really enjoy and it might actually make our lives a hell of a lot easier if we get on with this i'm hoping it's one of those services you can dip in and out of because that would literally make my life Ryan is upstairs and I might have to eat this without him. Have a look at that. Good morning everybody. Today it is Wednesday. I'm in a very good mood today because it is takeaway night tonight, which means I am not cooking, Brian is not cooking, there might be wine and there will be curry and I'm so excited about it. I haven't vlogged in a couple of days now. I was kind of like just really struggling, I think on Friday when I last saw you and decided to just kind of like take the weekend. I just worked on a load of reels and just kind of like waited for my filming mojo to come back. Today I'm surprisingly chipper, mostly I think because of Takeaway Wednesday, considering I have had very little sleep. I'm so tired. I've also had one of those like just get stuff done mornings So I'm feeling good about that. Just like lots of stuff that's just kind of been bugging me You know when you've just kind of been pushing things to the side and then you finally get it done You feel very fresh I feel like that. Someone else is also feeling very fresh. Were you up a lot last night? Yeah 
he's a squirrel. She's not been feeling too well over the weekend. She's much better now. But yeah, that was definitely, oh, it was so cute. Anyway, sorry, my dog is cute, we all know. But yeah, it was a real kind of like weight on my mind. So I decided to just have some snuggly time with her. And you are feeling so much better. Anyway, I have just photographed this outfit for Instagram, which is why my mirror is in the window. This is like the best lighting trick. Just move your mirror, guys, <laughs> just move it. I thought I'd show you what I am wearing. So obviously I've put on a red lip to distract from the bags under my eyes. But I've also paired it with this top. Some of you, if you've been around a long time, you will remember this top. It's an old Gucci purchase that I made years and years ago. It went down as one of my worst purchases because of the amount that I have worn it or the lack of times specifically that I have worn it. I just realized I had lipstick on my teeth. So today's vlog already going really well. Well done, Sus. I've also paired it with my ASOS jeans, which I am loving. I'm really, really enjoying these. And I've paired it with just a pair of little sandals from Zara because it is now spring in my eyes and I'm going to be wearing inappropriate footwear for the foreseeable, basically until next autumn. But anyway, the other thing I wanted to tell you was like a continuation of the good news that I was kind of telling you about last week. I had a little Zoom meeting on Monday and it turns out that the car that I kind of was really hoping to get but had kind of like i've been manifesting it literally it said it as my screensaver it was my screensaver for so long i was fully like yeah i'm gonna do it i'm gonna do it and then just started to kind of like get a little bit pessimistic and be like yeah you know if it's if it's meant to be it will happen so i was just like in my brain kind of marked out like this is the budget we're not going over it even for dream car like even if it's like a little bit over we're not doing it and it turns out it is within budget so i'm so happy it's just given me something to kind of keep my mind moving a little bit forward because as we all know there has been like minimal to look forward to so we've got like april and june to think about and i've also got like mid i think it'll be march to think about which is so exciting I've made myself a cup of coffee. I'm doing a reel that actually involves having a cup of coffee I don't normally have two a day. I just have the one and really savour it. But I'm going to be doing I think like five outfits and flicking between. But yeah, I'm really excited about these outfits. Slightly different variations on stuff I've worn already and some slightly newer things. This top is coming soon in a video but yeah, I am obsessed with it. Have it in black as well so that might also get a little feature. We've got my ASOS sweetheart neckline tops which I'm just obsessed with. So I'm going to be pairing that with my Zara E-Crew trousers. Got another one of the ASOS tops with some green trousers from All Saints and then a Zara shirt. This is actually a body shirt. I was like, that is genius. That is a wardrobe essential with these cute little Zara shorts. And then another top from ASOS, which I am just loving at the moment. Again, some spoilers for an upcoming video but yeah there will be lots of other pieces in that video as well so just giving you a little bit of a heads up on an upcoming zara video also i want to take a moment for two things the first things being the fact that it's like tulip season at the moment and i'm just loving these the color is so beautiful but also something else that's making me really happy is the little collection of tom Ford fragrances that i am kind of racking up over here so these are a mixture of ones that i have purchased and ones that i've been sent i've purchased these two i've been sent these two fairly recently actually and I am just loving them. This one's probably my least favourite, but these three, these are everything. I've worn this for years and I absolutely adore it. But this one was sent to me more recently and I don't like rose scents. Like, I think I've said it quite a lot on YouTube. I don't like rose scents. But this has this, like, dark undertone. I feel like it's, like, tonka bean, which is one of, like, the base notes. And it gives this, like, almost, like, vanilla-y kind of effect to it underneath. If you like All Saints Sunset Riot, which is actually back here, or Tom Ford Black Orchid, I think you will like that one. Obviously, as long as you like rose but like i said i wasn't even a big fan of a rose scent and i love that this however is probably my favorite thing i've smelled in a very 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 long time this is tom ford lost cherry it's incredible it smells like cherries and almonds and it's got a little bit of like a vanilla kind of to the base i think and it basically smells like a cherry liqueur like chocolate not heavy on the chocolatey scent obviously but the vanilla and it gives it that kind of base note but off the top you can really smell the cherries immediately the almond comes through and then there's this like vanilla-y base note it is incredible both of these really are just absolutely stunning i love them all together though like they are really satisfying lined up that's my little fragrance rave 
I had to, I love fragrances. I might do like a little reel or something, some kind of series somewhere. I don't feel like it's appropriate for YouTube because quite a lot of the time certain content doesn't perform and then you guys don't even end up seeing it even if you want to. So I feel like there will be a place for it. I just need to figure out where that place for it is, but I'm gonna do like my all time favorite perfumes or something like that. Cause I have a lot to say when it comes to perfumes. I love fragrances. So yeah, would you be interested in like snappy little videos on fragrances? Let me know because I'm, I'm not everybody. It is Thursday, my bedroom currently looks like this. I have just finished filming a, can I tell you? Shall I tell you? I've just finished filming a Zara haul, which will be the next video that you see. There's some really great spring pieces. Like the good stuff is starting to like flow in, you know? That was the last thing I did. Then I had a Zoom meeting that I had to like jump onto literally mid like taking the Zara pieces off. And I actually have just had a little H&M order, which I'm going to take you through. So some of you may have seen this bag already, which I'm just loving. I haven't really had the chance to wear it yet because it's a bit more of a like, I'm going somewhere kind of bag. and <laughs> I'm not going places, but I think this will be one of those things that I keep forever because it is just so beautiful. Like so beautiful. I'm just obsessed with it. I love the size of it. It's like a perfect kind of everyday bag size, but like when I, especially when I want to wear something really pretty, it's like that perfect kind of like top handle bag. It does come with a little strap as well. I ordered that a few days ago and then the bigger size came into stock. H&M are really coming through with us with the Dior dupes and I love the Dior tote bag that does have the more palm leaf print to it. It is definitely more expensive. I think it's quite a few hundred pounds more expensive than the Dior monogrammed tote so I'm really glad that H&M have brought out like their own version of it because it is just so beautiful. It definitely needs a bag insert because it's very very flimsy. It needs a little bit more structure. Nothing obviously in comparison to the Dior tote, that the structure of those bags is incredible. But for a high street dupe, this was $24.99. I think it's really great. This one was $14.99. I put them on my stories as soon as they went onto the website. They sold out very, very quickly. Both times I was lucky enough to manage to get one. This is just absolutely beautiful. I, I love it. I absolutely love it. And then I also picked up this top, which I've been so excited for it to arrive. It's this lovely little bralette corset style top but it's like very summery very cute i think it'll pair really beautifully with jeans and yeah i've just been so excited for it to arrive so i'm going to show you that on now how cute is this i got very lucky obviously h&m sizing just does run smaller i know there was this whole thing like last year over the fact that they've corrected the sizing but for me i do just think as a brand as a whole they generally run like a little bit smaller, especially in tops. Dresses, I don't find so much of an issue. This one is a classic example of that and it fits very snug, but it doesn't not fit, so I'll take it. I can't remember if I said I've got a size eight for reference. I've just paired them with my Topshop mom jeans here, which have the dodgiest button up ever. <laughs> I need to next week. It is on my list to do a jean shop because it's getting a bit silly now. Yeah, I will link as much as I can in the info box. I am not sure that the bags are in stock anymore, but they were available to purchase over the weekend on the app, so keep an eye on the app. I think that's where they update things the quickest. Top tip for you. Also, I forgot to say, I did mean to vlog last night. I completely forgot to take my camera to Ryan's house. We had a curry and we watched Greenland. I think that's what it's called. It's on Amazon Prime. All I can say is don't watch it if you have any anxiety about dying in a way that is fully out of your control. That sounds weird, but you know like real apocalyptic style stuff. I have a love-hate relationship with it, but it fully, not all of them do, but it fully set off my anxiety. But yeah, had a lovely evening. You didn't miss much. And I think other than that, I have no further updates. So I'm gonna end this vlog here. I really hope you guys have enjoyed it and enjoyed seeing what I've been up to the past few days. Not a lot, you know, same old, same old, but I hope you enjoyed it and I will see you guys again very, very soon. Love you, bye.